What's up, guys? <clears throat> Brian here. Had a uh, long day today. As you can probably tell, I'm losing my voice. I'm getting sick that time of year. Oh, joy. Anyways, as the title says, I got a broken tie rod. Happened today, which kind of stinks. Right before, you know, Thanksgiving, got a broken tie rod. I'm guessing the reason it happened, because it was partially weakened because it had rubbed against the driveline before, before, the, before I bought the truck. And uh, that weakened it, I'm sure. Um, but other than that, it's got to be the crappy, you know, the potholes. That's the only thing I can think of in my head that would be strong enough to break a tie rod. Anyways, what's up, J-Bo? You want to see my tie rod? So the way I found it, that tie rod right there was in between my duels. When I went, I went to dump, and then I got out to, you know, check the tailgate, and I look over and I see this all sideways. I'm like, what the flip? Anyways, I was able to finish the day out. I just used some baling wire to hold them back. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'll probably... I don't know if I'm going to have to take it off to weld it or, you know, or ratchet it together, then weld it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might just buy another one. They're, from what I remember, I don't think they're that expensive. I think they're like 100, 200 bucks or something like that. So I might just buy a new one. <clears throat> Yep, there it is, right there, broken tie rod. Brand new tie rod ends. Broken tie rod. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was looking at my zip ties that Justin gave me. I don't have any in the truck. I got one. And it's like a 12-inch, you know, zip tie. So I had to use my baling wire that I had. Well, some of it. I got a ton of it. But. What the? What the hell? That's supposed to be. Oh, you know what? I bet that broke off when the driveline snapped. Interesting. I better figure out how to fix that. Boy, that must just that must just weld to the top. I think it's just welded. It's supposed to be welded to the top. I didn't even see that. Well, that's why you got to do a post trip, guys. Stuff breaks, and you gotta find it before it gets worse. Does more damage. Anyways. That's the dump truck like life. Yeah, no, the air, the airlines aren't, but the uh, the bracket is. You can see the metal flakes right there. It's been bouncing up against it. That's easy fix. I'll just tack weld that back. Probably when I'm getting the tie rod. <clears throat> Ah, right before the holidays. Well, at least the things are slowing down. I'm going to have time to work on all that junk. Put in a good good day today, seven and a half hours on the ticket. As you can tell, my voice is totally gone. Because, yeah, I'm sick. Um, You know, woke up with... You know, congestion, and then next thing I know, halfway through the day, my voice is gone. 
and I didn't even talk to anybody. I was sitting in the truck all day. Just disappeared. No, I haven't been doing any paving recently. I, uh, I kind of stopped doing the paving mainly because I was doing, mainly because, uh, the paving I was doing was for one customer and, uh, they were becoming really late on payments, which I'm going to do a video pretty soon, maybe, uh, within the next few days about owner operators and how you get paid. Um, anyways, back to the, my story. Uh, they were running really late. Like, I'm talking like 30 days overdue, 40 days overdue, 45 days overdue. And uh, they owed me a lot of money. Like, you know, 20000 at one point, 30000 at one point. Um, and uh, so I stopped working for them because they weren't paying on time. And, uh, you know, that's just the way it works. When somebody doesn't pay you, you got to stop working for them. Loved working for them. Great crew, great guys. But uh, their bookkeeper lady or the owner, I don't know which one it was. Probably a com culmination of them both. They were, uh, let me just put it this way. They do not know how to handle finances, obviously. Because they, they must have overextended themselves. Yeah, I know. No reason. But, uh... Hmm. Chocolate-covered cherry. Nummy. Yep, so... Stop working for them. Stop hauling for them. Uh... I think I might pick back up and start hauling for him again, but not like I did before. Not consecutive, you know? Like, because I worked for these guys for like two months straight, like almost. And uh, I don't think I'm ever going to do that again <clears throat> because it's just you're putting all your eggs in one basket. And if they, you know for some reason or another decide not to pay you, which they do that all the time, then, you know, I don't gotta worry about it as much, you know. So, anyways guys, just wanted to give you that quick little update about the broken tie rod. Don't forget to pound that like button, pound the subscribe button, check out the Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, uh, like those pages, share this, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, oh, and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy lots of turkey and good food. And uh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Bye.